Hello guys, Igor here, doing one more AppSumo review. Today analyzing VQ, a tool that claims to be a now and on platform for creating videos you can embed, track, and monetize. VQ claims to be an alternative to Vimeo, but you will see that they have also tools to create videos, for instance, Instagram stories on the tool. VQ is a now in on platform that lets you create interactive, monetizable videos that boost engagement and revenue. Here, how the deal works, you get different plans depending on the number of tiers. So tier four, you get the digital media plan, tier three enterprise, tier two pro plus, and tier one pro. The difference here is the number of API requests per month and also the storage. If you manage to get the license tier 4, you're gonna get the unlimited storage and 5,000 of API credits per month. Remember that those unlimited store are subjective to VQ fair use policy and that VQ fair use policy means that you can't have more than 95% of your storage used when comparable to the majority of the 95% of the users, okay? So that is their fair policy. And let's take a look at the tool. Just you can see what's happening from inside. Here you can see that the dashboard, you are going to see already the statistics and that those are the statistics you are going to get. You get the number of upload videos, the all video launches, paid loads and showed ads. They have also an analytics here. Okay. So you're going to get analytics uh, of your video and which features VQ has, as I said, they are not only a tool to storage videos, but also a tool to create videos. You can create content inside VQ. The recommended content type they have are a story for Instagram, video for Facebook and video for Instagram. I found this story for Instagram the most cool to show you. And then so for the sake of that review, we are using that feature here. The story for Instagram, just click on create you're gonna be directed to their builder. So here are their builder. You are gonna add your title here and you can select from three different templates, classic news and digest. What changes here are the type of the text. The texts are different. I like that one, that news template. Let's choose, it. Let's choose that one. You can do it muted. For instance, if you're gonna use it for Instagram uh, reels, you would, for instance, like to upload the reels, um, mute it and then select a music, or you can just select one of the musics or even add your custom audio. Just click on continue. And here is pretty simple to build. Just click here on add and you have three uh, possibilities per slide. So here is one slide. And to create another slide, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you. But uh, here, you can select a text per slide, a link, a medium, or a pool. I have an, uh, an example of text here. To change it, you just double click on the text, and then you can write your text here. I'm gonna automatically change on the builder and you can add a media to create your story. You can upload via URL from TikTok, Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube, websites, or you can uh, upload or also use one of the, their storage uh, stock files. We, we receive a stock file with the deal. Just click here, upload, and now you have your media here on the background. You can, for instance, change the text position, put on the middle or below, and you can also click here to bold it. Oh, but now I need a second uh, slide for my storage. Come here, 
and you already have a slide. It's pretty easy to change uh, the length. You just, from the slide, just click here and select how many time you need for that specific slide. I find the builder pretty simple to create stories and I like it. So again, here empty, let's add a new text. Just click here. This is a new text. Now I'm gonna put this one in the middle and add a new media, a media and you go creating your story like that. Select your media, upload, and it's done. When you're ready, you just need to click on publish. Then you will transcode and you can see the result here. Okay, here on settings, you can create projects. You're gonna use those projects to divide your videos between projects, brands, etc. I'm creating here a project name uh, for a website blog. AppSumo, those videos that we are going to upload on AppSumo for the sake of that review. So I have a new project here. Here you can add new users to help you to manage your account. On player and widgets, you can see, you can use external uh, player, recommendation player, story widgets, stick player, article to video player. So you have a specific uh, player where you're gonna select and customize it for a specific use case. In, in that case, the, recomm uh, the recommended videos. Here you can see player templates. If you're gonna, you can uh, customize, for instance, progress bar, if you want that or not, the play button, share button, share URL, full screen button, sound button. You can change the color of the, 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 the player. You can loop it or not. You can change dimension. You can change also the player language. About the player language, they have, I don't know that language here, but they have also English, Spanish, and French. There's some style here, give style, give style of sound, and the subtitles. You can change the color for that and customize your video. Here are other kinds of customization, uh, the player margin, the, the kind, the control buttons. Okay, so that's it. You can run ads, so you can monetize your video using VQ. Just click here and they will uh, investigate the application and give you an answer if you can run ads from here. But as you can see, and as I understood, they have their own monetizing strategy or partnership. And you just click here, they will analyze your videos and then you can run the ads directly on your video. And on files is where you're gonna upload your videos to store it. And then uh, uh, you can create folders to divide them by folders and you can store it to embed or uh, to use the URL to share your video with your audience. Just click here on new video. You can upload using YouTube. I'm gonna test it. And then I'm gonna also upload a video so you can see how both use cases work. Using Marble, uh, digital. So I find here a video that I just uploaded on YouTube. I'm gonna click here to upload that video. And I already have my upload, uh, my YouTube video here. If I want to use the stock files, I can go here and also upload it on my VQ. They will transcode the video and then you're gonna receive a named code, okay? What I don't see here is a way to upload your own video. No, it's, it's here, no. I can find a way to upload my video from my PC. Oh, it's here, so big and I didn't find it, <laughs> sorry. So if you want to upload your own videos from your PC, just drag and drop and upload. So each video will have their own analytics, as you can see here. Okay, you have an option to duplicate it, clicking here, and you use uh, that video embedding it on your website. Okay, you can embed it using that script or you can use their own CDN video permalink. 
I'm gonna show you how it show up using their link. So here is the video on their website, click here and it's playing the video. Okay, I hope you liked that review, thank you so much. Uh, click on the link below to take a look at the terms of the Epsom deal. Thank you so much, bye bye.